back to another amazing installment of Saturday Night Gaming Presents Fellows Through the Never. When we last left off with our group of heroic idiots, maybe? I don't know what to call them yet, but they're they're struggling to be dynamic. Uh, they were Some launched are. into a dark storm in the middle of a new continent they had yet to explore by a large rotund uh, bard that was challenged by Thalgrim's might and he stood up to the challenge, definitely. Uh, we even saw the Bloodborne John the Red discover his new hunting invention, which is Bloodberry Jam. Uh, Rhea. Bloodberry Jam. Bloodberry Jam, that's right. You need to know how it tastes. You need to know how it helps your skin, how it helps your hair. We saw Rhea oh, discover yes. a, a forge. We saw the guys uh, uncover many mystic objects and everything. But I'll let them tell you about their individual attainments as we go round robin here. I'll start by going to my right uh, and let them introduce themselves, who they're playing, and uh, what relevant things happened to them last time, where they're at now. Uh, my name's Chuck. I'm playing uh, Ulthar the Cursed. Um, I pretty much spent the last the last session face palming because of the people I'm with. Um, but yeah, we're, we're going to go fight bad things now. And I think you inher inherited the, 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 the spear of Imperion. Yep. Mm -hmm. Cool stuff. I am. Um, I know Ragnolf. And I even got my name right this time. <laughs> uh, last session, I met my new familiar, Vegasir. You're getting, you're getting familiar. I am with getting him? familiar with it. Um, I've learned that it likes Bloodberry Jam, so I'm going to need to stay friends with John the Red. And I. I'm going to carry my axe bravely, I choose the word bravely, into the dark storm to find the death that stalks us. I like it. I I oh, and you also, you've you got the belt of the Thunder Bear, correct? The belt of the Thunder Bear that is going to make me stronger than Thulgrim. It'll be a long when we get to uh, Thulgrim, but uh, we'll oh. let's keep going. <laughs> my name is uh, Caleb, and I will be Thul. Once again, um, biggest things that happened to me last time, I turned on light, turned it off, ate fire. People couldn't make up their mind if they wanted things illuminated or not. And, uh, run up the stairs, run down the stairs. Uh, no, right? Big man crashed, go boom. Accidentally discovered the basement. That was fun. Yes, John the Red helped a lot with discovering that basement. And now I have a dagger that uh, I am told uh, stores life in it. Ooh, that's going that's to be fun. That could come in handy. Yeah. Ah. Hi, I'm Ronnie. I'll be playing Thulgrim Bloodwet, champion of Valkoria, now with the Iratus Blade that speaks weird words to me. But even more exciting than all this, I can spell numbers now. Ah. Adding letters. That's good. Yes, I add letters and spell numbers. Excellent. All due to this helmet of helmet of uh, words. The word helmet, yes, <laughs> that makes sense. W Y R D. Okay. He also dismantled uh, an enchanted armor set and put it on. Don't mm -hmm. worry, it has a crotch blade. It does have a crotch blade. And stole some gloves. Oh yeah, and I have the storm gauntlets as yeah. well. Stole a sword, stole some helmet, stole some gloves, stole some armor. He rocked out with his socks off. <laughs> um, I am Richard. I will be playing Ray or Ravenwind. And mm -hmm. last time I found this cool forge and helped form the Eratus Blade. Did right. I say it right? And yeah. you even stole a... I stole a hammer. A hammer of making. <gasps> yes. Nice. Those uh, sound awesome for forgers. I'm a thief. I steal things now. <laughs> and let John, let John the Red know when he's up. Uh, I'm up. Right. Yes. Uh, I'm John the Red. And apparently I've been in a super for the past few days and I don't remember very much. But when I woke, I had discovered that I had created something called Bloodberry Jam. 
It's delicious. It's delicious. There's like a dark cloud all around you. You can't quite see anything. So I, I smear it all over my body because it's blood. Aww. And then uh, people can lick it off me if they want. It's quite good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Back in full character, I see. It smears some peanut butter on there. Um, it, it, it licks the blood berry or it gets the hose again. <laughs> this is going to be real difficult if I can't mute my oh, mic. Goodness. <laughs> peanut butter and blood berry sandwich. I've been getting used to being able to mute my mic. and Yeah, no, it's not going to happen here. But y'all all met uh, Agar the Bard. Didn't go over well for some of you. Some of you it did go over very well for. He had a really cool song. Uh, he had a, a nifty little song that he sang. and uh, But anyway, um, the first people launched into the storm, Thulgrim and Saul. Uh, Y'all are ahead of everyone else, obviously, since you traveled the easy way. <laughs> so right now, describe what you see. They traveled air hate. Black clouds. It's like a storm cloud just came and took, just popped a squat right there on the ground and you're walking into it. You can't quite see much around you. It's a smeared black gray everywhere you look. It almost feels like the air is statically charged. Ooh, you should definitely like a fire there. It feels all things weird here. I don't think this is a good thing though, old girl. This reminds me of that one time when the uh, lights went out on the sauna. I do not like this feeling. I was going to say different time, but uh, okay. It's, uh, yeah, the sauna of Alcoria down on the bottom of the. I did it ask you for a story of the sauna. <laughs> <laughs> and the thought of you being. You know, I guess someone was trying to sword to fight me. If you get what I mean. Oh, no, that is okay. no. We're going into territory I did not ask about. So, is that the last time I was at that. Oh, uh, by the way, John the Red, you're with them as well because you were carried by Fulgrim. Fulgrim. Uh, you're still being carried by. Him. Yes. <laughs> you're draped over his shoulders. Ice. <laughs> He was using his beard to soothe you. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just now waking up from a nice nap. Yes. Where are we? What's going on? Oh god, he's awake! <laughs> I toss him off. He hits the ground with a trap. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you guys had that kind of relationship with him. Uh, if you need, I can walk a bit that way in the dark cloud. Give you a moment of peace and respite. I think this only stays PG-13 if we don't focus. Yeah, there's a long time on the boat. <laughs> Hello. Ragnar. Ultor, where are you guys? Let's get you can hear them. You're about 15 feet behind them. Crawling. Yes. So... We met a Still singing man, me. and he threw us here. I want to try to walk back <laughs> out. Very big Let's singing see what man. That means. Okay. Uh, roll for <laughs> perception. In any direction. Oh, that ain't going nowhere. That is uh, oh. mm. That's a zero. Say it's a zero. Maybe worse. You keep spinning around in circles oh, trying to figure out which way you came from, but my your orientation is completely gone. I'm going to roll for perception to see if I can get bearings. Okay. Mr. Tony, I'm going to go to get the dice because I forgot to do that. Uh, uh, right there. There's some. Oh. Ten. Ooh. Okay. So, with the helm on your head. You can feel a tingle inside your skull, something that you've never felt before. It's your brain. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like when you open your eyes, you perceive worlds beyond worlds. And you see all around you, um, almost in a strange spiritual energy. Mm -hmm. Like imagine how the daredevil can make radar mm -hmm. sense for himself. You're seeing spiritual energy around you. Uh, you see many things moving around you and when you look at them 
They have a humanoid shape, but they also move almost like smoke. Uh, you see a mountain burning ahead of you, and you can also signify the fire within soul. What do you see, Dogram? Is it all spooky? Is it kind of cool? <laughs> can you see anything at all? Somebody I do not know the words to describe this. That, that doesn't literally, matter. I do not know the words so to describe this. there's a new this. one. I'm pretty sure you didn't know uh, literally like two days ago. That is true. <laughs> The helmet's making me smarter. Uh, as much as obvious, though. There's a mountain on fire over there that burns like you. Passionately. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the time for that. That's for later. I mean, I won't go back to what you I also see many people moving around us, but they're moving like smoke. Are they, not, are they just being rude or not? You know, obviously we're lost. You know, no, no, no. It's like they're people and then they look like smoke. But how are they people and then smoke? They look like ghosts, man. Oh, why did, why did you just lead with ghosts? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the stupid one. Ha! I mean, uh, the shoe fits, Dolgrim. Uh, Your shoe doesn't fit my shoe. What are you talking about? <laughs> Regardless, I can see all around us. We should move that way towards the mountain that's on fire. Shouldn't we wait for the others? I mean, what if they're hurt by a giant man that tossed you like little We're fine, cookie? just go. I'm pretty sure they're okay. Okay. Bill Thor's with them with the staff of whacking people on the head. Um, okay, Tolgrim, you lead the way, then Mr. I'm a genius now. I wouldn't use that word. Because <laughs> he does not know what it means. Right. Exactly. <laughs> I don't even know what it means. <laughs> All right, very smart man. Let's go this way. That's what I said. Too, too many words for you? <laughs> no, that wasn't too many words okay, for me. You lead the way. That, oh, that's all right. So Rhea, John, the Red, are y'all uh, are y'all following Thalgrim? I will. I'm a little hard of hearing now. I don't know if it was the, the drinking or if it was the jam. Maybe a little bit. Of Did you get jam in your ears? Good God, man! <laughs> you can always uh. I'm gonna taste this for him. So I'm just gonna follow the big bearded guy. Who toss me off. <laughs> <laughs> sweet, sweet, my beard. I am right. also following. <laughs> okay. So y'all march off towards the mountain, is what I'm assuming. Yes, we're going towards the mountain. Okay. Uh, Einar, uh, you and Ulthor are entering the storm. Uh, this happening just after you watch the chain happen between Hagar uh, shifting into the masked Grim. Yes. He placed his hand upon Ulthor's forehead and burned a, a runic image into his forehead. Uh, that still seems to glow. The iridescent blue. As we're walking away, that looked like it hurt. It did not. Good. I would hate to have to turn around and fight that guy for hurting Ooh. my friend. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> so I um, I rolled a six on perception. Does my does the blade do anything as we enter the? Like does uh, it glow the yes, the head of the spear does okay. irradiate a almost the same iridescent blue that's coming from your your new marking. It seems to almost have a vibration to it as you hold it in your hand. It uh, moves with the frequency of the light that it emits. The brighter it gets, the, the more the vibration seems sure. to go out of control. Almost like a Geiger counter. I'm going to follow Ulthor, but I'm also going to be looking around because I don't feel safe here. Okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so, should I roll You've to see if I see something? And I've got the. You can roll Wait, for something if you want to. Yeah, that's a uh, two. You see not a lot. I see a lot you of dark. You see Ulthor, and you can see the light burning from him, mm -hmm. so you're following that light. 
I will. Um, and you can hear Vampasir on your shoulder. Yes. Just kind of. Oh. Woo -woo. It's okay. You'll protect me. Oh no! I'll I'll leave you far far behind. But I will watch you with wonder as you fight to your glorious honor of death. Ah, then I, I will hope, remember you in story. Then I hope to give you a good story to get to well, tell. Well, please do, because being trapped in a tower has left me with nothing but oh, wallpaper peeling and paint drawing and dust flying and ah, then we'll, we'll have to make to it. Chase a dust bunny. It's not easy. Then we'll have to make it a long, good story. Good long story, yes, yes, indeed. I would like to see that big dumps you were with uh, battle something much larger than him and see what happens. Oh, that's already happened. Oh, well, let's do that again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it will. All right, so uh, as y'all continue to trek, you can almost hear the booming echo of Fulgrim's voice, but you can tell that it's in a good clicks of distance. Okay. You don't know exactly how far. You don't even know if it's a cosmic centimeter. You can't tell because of the thick pea soup cloud that's around you. But you can hear a directional sense Wait, of where his voice is. So it's turning green now? No, that's that's not what pea soup can. It just means it's real thick. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I've had pea soup. Man. It's thick. <laughs> yeah. It's thick. That's how that works. All right, so back to our long time weary, long time. wandering warriors. You march closer towards what you see as the mountain. Uh, as you do, you can kind of hear something in the distance clawing and scraping. Uh, almost sounds like rocks against rocks uh, clashing against each other. Can I see what I see? You can do that, yeah. You have your gloves on, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Second. Uh, seven. All right. Uh, you can definitely see a few of those energy signatures huddled together at the base of the mountain. They seem to be working on something in their hands. Hmm. There's two energies ahead of us. About five to seven feet ahead. Oh, Ooh. five to seven feet ahead of us? They're not far. Are these, uh, They're five to seven feet ahead of us. I'm gonna go touch it. Are these the uh, smoky ghost people you're talking about? No, no, no. It's just energy. It's glowing. I'm gonna go touch it. Uh, what? Uh, is, touch it? Don't ask yes. the smartest thing to do, Tolgram. We don't know what's going on in here. I don't either. But how are we gonna Tolgram, find out if we don't you experiment? Could, you could touch a rock, Tolgram. Get your end blown off. Okay. I go to touch it. Oh, John, the red note. <laughs> We both gotta to touch one. I tried to grab them both. Hey, John, you get the one to the right, I'll get to the one to the left. Tony. Okay, uh, I tried to stop them. John the Red and Thulgrim roll for expedience of touching strange energy people. Uh -huh. And Saul, so you get to roll for trying to stop them. Is that one roll per or per right them? Yep. It's gonna be strength, right? You're moving with strength. John's moving with strength. <laughs> I guess everybody's. We'll see how you're stopping them. Get one of them at least. To, or am I, is my one roll going for both of them, or is it for just one at a time? Uh, if they're moving in different directions or moving together slightly, it depends. Uh, these two things that they're heading towards were huddled together, so I'm assuming they're going in a straight line together towards them. I got a four. Can, four can I four. try and assist soul? You As may I'm try and assist soul. I like say, right. hey there. Is it strength? Thing. Do we have him on digital dice? Um, ask him yes, I just rolled. What did you get? Uh, if you can see it, maybe I can zoom in. No, tell I can't see it. Uh, you're hiding them under the camera. You're hiding me? Why? No, I said you're hiding the, uh, the, the dice are behind, behind the camera. Yeah, camera. Just, just tell me a number. Uh, it is, uh, Plus his three for strength, so he got a four. You yeah. got a four. Uh, am I rolling strength? You'd be rolling dexterity, probably. Oh, okay. I don't know how you're trying to stop um, him. Are you throwing the hammer at him? Three. 
No. <laughs> okay. And what did you get? I got a zero. No, your max roll. Yeah, oh. I got three negatives. Or, yeah, it's in that. I'm using dexterity. You're using your con, I would assume. Are you burning them, or are you... No. How are you um, stopping them? Explain to me how you can prevent them from doing this. Hmm. <laughs> Reverse jet propulsion. <laughs> Just like... <laughs> out my feet. Just two, run in front of them, and then the like... Behind that, dude. Um, so that would be a two. Under the constitution. And what did you get? I got a three. Okay, so basically John the Red and Fulgrim <laughs> smack both of you out of the way. <laughs> Ow. And run to touch these these glowing visages, which John the Red can't really see. He's just kind of like holding on to Fulgrim, trying to run with him. Are they like running As hand in? You, we are running hand in hand. <laughs> you see these glowing visages in front of you. Almost, <laughs> almost like an eerie green... Uh, glowing person standing next to another eerie green glowing person you reach up but you feel solid mass as you touch and what you hear is solid mass no as you reach forward you can feel uh, rotten cloth and something give way underneath it almost like mush uh, like a good cooked Roast beef. The this is disgusting. Is what is this? Who enters our realm? They told you not to touch it, old Grim. It sounds kind of creepy. Yeah, it's disgusting. When was the last time you bathed? It, it smells quite putrid. I'll give you a gold piece if you like it. It tastes. It tastes and smells <laughs> like asparagus, green bean. Baby food. Wait, what, what did you say? <laughs> you 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 say? After is that what Saul said? If you look, if I lick my finger, your finger, I go. Eh. <laughs> <That's the one>. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your gold piece. Give me my gold. <laughs> he licked his finger, then touched it. Oh, that's how. <laughs> that's how you get the the Ebola. Oh. <laughs> that that's how you get some things. That's for what sure. What does it taste like? Doesn't taste like blueberry jam. I'll give you that. <laughs> Oddly, it tastes like mint. What? Okay, <laughs> Thulgrim and John the Red roll for defense. Three. What you got, John? One. Oh. One plus whatever. Uh, strength. You got a four. Wait, are you using dexterity? B five. Five totals in. What did you get? Three. All right. So basically, whatever this was that you were touching in front of you, it moves at you in a, in a quick progression. It latches on to you, and you can see this green energy flowing from it as the other one latches on to John the Red and does the same thing. Now. Add a negative two to your health and your strength. You are poisoned. John the Red and whoever's controlling his sheet. Add a negative two to his int and wisdom. He you said free. health is constitution, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. So he's freezing. You're poisoned. Uh, should I write down here freezing and notes? Mm. Or just keep track of it. For the okay. time being. I'm going to hit back. Okay, let's try that. Alright. This new disgusting thing. Yeah, you're the one who ate me. <laughs> I can't help if you taste like mint, but yet yeah, you smell so putrid. Well, you know, I was fresh a few hundred years ago. Let's see how fresh you are now. Because well, I am strong! Ooh, I like them strong. Kid. Nice. Oh, no. <laughs> it's the golden girl. <laughs>
Okay, you still manage to hit. What are you striking with? That's going to be fun. Which one did he lay? I'm using the ear tooth blade, and I am just slashing forward. Okay, so um, using it as a blunt object? Yeah, just attacking it. Okay. And that's uh, plus nine damage, two fire damage. Mm -hmm. All right, so as he uses the ear tooth blade, because she did. If you're using the fire damage, you're adding that mm -hmm. to it. So you can see the hilt ignite. You see an image of what seems to be like a runic bird carved into the hilt. As it ignites, that flame dissipates this darkened cloud in a radius around you. So what you can see now in front of you are these figures cloaked in deep purple robes with red trimming and from what you can tell the way they move the robes themselves are rotten and ragged some points seem moist some seem like they're decaying and beneath you can disgusting. see the moving of hands that are almost putrid and falling apart the flesh falling from the bones but staying animated as he swipes through one of them it bursts it into flames throws it back against the mountain, and knocks it into pieces like a, a nice pool of zombie berry jam against the rock wall. Is it moving after that, or is it... What about the other one? John, the red, how do you decide to defend yourself against the zombie cloaked gentleman that is latched onto you? Well, I don't appreciate the matching on. I did not give consent for that. <laughs> he so didn't I'm ask for it. My best to, uh, consent is for losers. <laughs> well, these are right, villains. So nice I'm not, it's my turn not to be nice. That's how you end up in jail. I'm going to gouge your eyes out. How do you like that? I don't know. Before. I've never had it happen before. <laughs> Do it. I dare you. I double devil dog dare you. I'm just talking here. I had a dagger. I got a dagger and a pocket. There you go. What? The dagger is sticking out of his eyeball and he says, Ooh, your pockets are really deep. I like it. Let me look inside your cape, Sir Red. Uh, see that? See that? See that pocket? Get in it! Oh, oh no! no! You see the entity actually disappear into his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was, uh, that was the strangest thing I've Where ever seen. Where am I? Oh, God, it stinks in here, Rustin me! What kind of is this hell to bury? Oh, no! That's unusual. Well, that is the creepiest thing I've ever now, seen. Now... Where you see the Voldemort blood, is confused. Where you <laughs> see the blood splattered across the mountain face, you actually see that blood trickling down, and it starts to pool together. No, as it begins to arise in the form of a man yet again, and stands before you and says, "Ooh, that tingle, that like it." I'm going to run. John, put him in your other pocket. <laughs> Pockets. I, I don't know if I have any pockets. I don't want my clock at I'm going to run up. Um, you gotta keep enough room for that jam, man. Shove my hand into the decomposing body. Okay. And create an intense burst of flame inside okay. and try to melt him. That like, sounds like incinerate. Sounds like an idea. This sounds like something you've already done before, so. By the way, if you try your other, your jam, it's gonna have a mint flavor to it. <laughs> Hey, Crystal. Okay, give me one of those. Two, right? Yeah, that's yeah. Seven. 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 Okay, let's see what happens. Ah. Okay, so as you place your hand into the creature's gut, he grabs hold of your arm. And you are stuck together at the. Oh, no, that is not how this was supposed to go. <laughs> He's not letting go. 
Why would I want to let go of something so pretty? I haven't seen something with such a childish beard in decades. Then do you even have beard? I have. The flesh hanging from my skull. That's like a beard. It's that, a doesn't fleshy count, beard. that doesn't count as beard. It counts as flesh. It doesn't count as it's beard. A, it's a it's a beard. It is a it's happening with John the Red. John the Red. John the Red. I hear he tastes like. Your favorite jam, maybe you should come be eating him now. Oh, nobody's done that to me. Oh, it's good to be very nice. Oh, well, nice young gentlemen come to join us for eternity, I see. You want to go my we can way? go home. You want to go to my home? We can go no, through my no, easy, no, no. easy he's... to access doorway. While they are no, arguing, I throw my ear tooth blade at the creature. Oh, be careful, don't touch my eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, roll Please, it's my favorite one. Oh, God. What's that coming out of? Constitution or strength? Um, you can either use your constitution or you can use your dexterity to try and roll it away. Six. Yeah. What did you get? I got a like four. Um, I still have the nine as two. Okay, so that's... Alright, Saul wins this escapade. So you can dictate how you get around the air tooth blade flying at you. Uh, Thorgo doesn't have time for words! Are you just coming down like this? Yeah, I'm throwing it down. He oh, throwing it. it. So, <laughs> if the dude's standing like this, is it coming down like that? No, it's, it's not coming like like through the air. <laughs> like a propeller. I kind of just like grab my arm and like Twist my sister. You throw him in front of the blade. Yeah, just like, sorry, not sorry, crossing it against the door. Just get off. Oh, no! And uh, no, the cool. blade is now sticking into the rock face of the mountain. I count to my fingers. As he begins to reform <laughs> around the blade. Oh, this is nice. I haven't felt something so powerful in Oh, I think that was a bad idea. Lucas! I don't know what year is it. They take out the soul dagger. I look at, I look at him. You can ignite the blade, yes. Hey, we can try. Do it. I reach out the blade. Please help. Roll your constitution, sir. No. <laughs> <laughs> would you like to fake that? Say yes, that I would like to fake that. Give me your taxes. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Ah, the rooms are in your favor. The rooms are in your favor, sir. As the holy fire ignites within the blade, blazing, the rock splitting up from it, you can see this creature, as it is enveloping itself around the blade, begin to incinerate completely. Every single molecule and atom burning alive as it. That wasn't a very nice sound. Wisps away. I hold my breath. I'm not as John the Red's cape begins to flap back and forth and try to attack him, it is now grabbing a hold of his legs and his arms. Oh, I've got an idea. <laughs> but that's. Let me out of your pocket. What? Really can't and dire what purpose. It feels like these zombies inside saying it stinks. It smells so badly. It's like he keeps fish and jam and people in here. The, the fish oil helps the elderberry and bloodberry join together. I, I see nothing. I. I won't tell anyone your secrets, I swear! I swear, just let me out! Please, go! By all this beard, let me out! I swear to serve you. Oh. <laughs> sure. That uh, sounds like a deal. Uh -oh. I'll do it! Let me out! Alright, I'll let you out. <laughs> Leave I'm not, I'm not going to serve you. You stink poorly. I'm going to run away. 
He starts running away can towards the balcony. Can I try and trip it? You can. You can. Are you gonna throw the axe at it? I'm gonna throw the axe through it. Are you okay? <laughs> and you're gonna try and trip it as well. Yeah. Both of you moving at the same time. <laughs> Give me a roll. Uh, John, I believe you were controlling the axe based off of your intellect. Yes. I sure. <laughs> <laughs> So roll intelligence for me. Richard will keep track of what to add. Uh, good night. Right, I rolled negative two. Oh. oh. It was end, right? I, I think yeah. I want That's a uh, negative three. Uh, sir, your axe, as you try to throw it, just slams into the ground and drags you with it. He <laughs> said he wanted to use fate, I think. Oh, you want to use fate? We're coming to get you. Okay, if you use your fate, you can either add two or go for a reroll. We're gonna reroll. Okay. Ah, plus three. <laughs> that's one. So you have a one. Oh, wait, no, that's two, sorry. Two? Yeah. Okay, so you manage to throw the axe. It doesn't quite get to the creature and begins to come back to you because. That's what it does. All right, I'm trying to trip it with dex? Yes. All right. Um, that's two. <laughs> yeah, I jumped over you. How are you so young and so incapable of catching me? I can't. <gasps> What's that you got in your pocket there, boy? It's very interesting. Are you a boy or a girl? I can't tell. I'll call you Blabby until I figure it out. <laughs> Give me that, what you call um, to your pocket. I charge over there and jump above <laughs> to strike him. And right. I try to guide the inner two slaves. At the same time, we're using teamwork? Yes, uh -oh. we are. Hold them down, Thor. Find the source light. Let's see what happens. Please don't come here now. That is not bad, it is a six. Okay. It's going to be a three. Okay. So at this point, you can add a two to it. Okay. Without using fate. He could use a fate to boost his, but he's the actual physical force, right? Yes. So you're adding two that with teamwork, you're adding a bonus. I'm strong. Throwing, uh, Turn that into... Uh, Eight. Five, so eight. Plus his six, plus seven. Two. Wait, it'd be a eight plus your two? Yes. That'd be a ten. Okay. Is Already this... deducted the two for my strength. Is the zombie bigger than me? <laughs> How do we go from three? Two eight. My strength is a four. It was at a two. I rolled a one. So that would make that three. My, I'm strong. I used a fate. That's a plus five strength. Oh, you used one of your moves. Yeah. Gotcha. That's what that is. Whew. I was like, man, you started writing numbers and got crazy. <laughs> <laughs> plus 20. Oh. <laughs> All right. The so longer I talk about numbers, the higher they get. All right. Yes. You, uh, you slam down into this creature as it's reaching towards Rhea's satchel of book. Where do you think you're going, you man? I am up the mountain, I think. <laughs> I think you want to take another trip to the pocket. <laughs> you just burn me alive. You put me in the pocket. I swear I'll do whatever dying you want me to do. I'm going to pull you apart piece by piece and put you in different pockets. <laughs> That's all. I'll never find my way out of that hole. The blade lights. <laughs> as it is lit by your companion, the fiery one, Saul. <laughs> and again, you see all of these atoms begin to burn away. It's a little bit creepy when I die, isn't it? I mean, like, I a little bit, I mean, are you dead yet, sir? You die a little bit quick, or maybe quiet. <laughs> quick, scoop him into the pocket. Duh. <laughs> Wait, no, that'll burn the pockets. Wait, does he leave ashes? Um, yes. Yeah. I collect ashes and smear them on my face. Ooh. Nice. Uh, okay. Uh, what? Now, yummy. 
Einar, Uthor, y'all can see the I fire. I question your skin conditioner, you sir. You can definitely see the fire igniting in the distance. <laughs> you can see the rock face of the mountain. Looks very familiar to you, as you know it well. A home away from well. Yeah, I kind of think that I know what those words mm -hmm. are. Do, 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 do you see Is John the Red still frozen? He is freezing, yes. Okay. Do we need to hurry? Yeah. And give so John the Red the hug and warm him. He's yeah. like, he's shuddering, he's chilly. Were there only two? There were two at the moment. That they encountered, yes. Do you see anything? Well, are we there yet? Okay. Oh, you're coming up on them now. You Do you can see anything them. else? What do you see with your special eyes? Are you see, with your helmet? Eleven. Ooh. Yes, you see the veins of the mountain uh, coursing alive with bright red energy. Mm -hmm. You can see many more of these green ethereal beings scattered across the mountain. Oh, God, there's more of these things. These mint jam creatures. What? <laughs> okay, Uttar, so he went up and touched it after I told him not to. Right. And then he said his fingers smelled bad, and I told him I'd give him a gold if he licked it. And he, oh, it's Tolgrim, you know, big surprise there, he did it. And apparently they <laughs> I'm broke, it. okay? I need I'm money. Broke. Not yeah. anymore, it seems. <laughs> I didn't think you'd be dumb enough to do it. This is why <laughs> that was your first girl. mistake. <laughs> I would have bargained for at least a fate. <laughs> he could have asked, he could have gotten two gold. I don't think he would have taken the gold. I think he just worked on it as a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Probably do. Uh, I see. How many? The, how many were there? Uh, you're looking at hundred, maybe. Oh. There's about a hundred of these mint jam things. Congratulations, you can these count that high. Right. I can now with the helmet. I can spell numbers. What Excellent. Are they, what do they look like? Um, I'm not trying to be mean. They look like you, except worse. Oh, man. That's not saying a lot. I thought so. They have these robes, um... By the way, you have very good hygiene compared to these guys. They're all dead. I looked a dead man. <laughs> yes, you did. You put our Wait. single gold. What was the ashes? <laughs> your cheat date. You could have gotten two, maybe. maybe. What was that you were smearing on your face when we walked up? Don't start that questions. He was smearing a dead man on his face. Looks like we're not... Too dissimilar. <laughs> it's not inside my body. You lick his face. I will give you a fate. Please don't. I do it. Oh god, no. It's like uh, cat tongue like sandpaper. <laughs> Dear god, it still tastes like mint. What are these creatures made of? My mint exfoliation mask, no. <laughs> I keep my skin bit of smooth. It's supposed to help me grow a beard. Mm. Dumb question. The red vein in the mountain. The only he can see this, yes. He sees the energy of it, yes. You see. You can mountain. see the mountain. Hmm. There's weird veins in the mountain, burning yeah. red. Oh, like me. Mm. Red. Red, like red. Blood? Yes. Kind of like fire. I'm going oh. to reach out and see if I can connect with these veins in the mountain. All right, we're going to start from the top of the cycle, and we're going to go through by turn base now. So starting with pool four. Um, I got a six on perception. If I can see where I think I'm being told is around. As Ulthor begins to try to perceive, uh, you see a flicker in his eyes as they roll into the back of his head, and the symbol on his head, which strangely similar to the symbol on the hilt of your sword, begins to glow a bright blue. Now, what mm. he sees floating around the symbol that is on his head is a codex of elements. Now... He has a choice on whether or not he wants to share this information with the rest of the party. Not yet. Okay. 
All right, so that's what you see in a vision. Uh, the colors glowing brightly, uh, orbs moving around the symbol itself. I'm going to ponder this for a minute. Okay. All right, Ina. I am going to use some of the ashes from the one that burned. Uh -huh. and they both burned, yeah. Sniff them to try and see if I can <laughs> smell. It smells like mint berry jam mixed with anchovies. Can I try to use that scent? Them? To Mickey target salt. All right, give me a <laughs> yeah. uh, roll. That's what I was about to say. So, that would be it's based it's on good, your. Could you sniff that on pizza? With <laughs> no, I'm assuming. Well, yeah, just because it's your perception, it's the way that you have been trained. Okay. Um, yeah, you can use wisdom. All right. Uh, that would be a. Plus five. Okay. So you definitely have a good scent tracking three of them about 20 feet ahead of you. Th there's some of them very close to us. Are, are we sure they're enemies? Uh, I mean, they touched us. I got sick. You got cold. Don't let them touch us. Got they're, it. They're probably not enemies if you just stick them in pockets. I mean... Right, did you not hear that they were capable of lying? This one said it would follow John the Red as soon as he got out to one. Surprise! Not doing that. The um. blood tastes like war. What? Do something magical. Say when. When? When? <laughs> I'm winning. That's a good bit. God, it's like not that much. Okay. Uh, the raspberry. Um, a little bit more. That's good. Can I move closer to the closest one? You, need you can. You can move away. <laughs> I am going to try and move closer. And see if I can strike it with my axe. Okay. So as you grow closer, uh, Saul, you see him running off. Uh, what are you going? As he does, not, I, yeah. you see kind of a strange green uh, light flowing off of his shoulders and trailing behind him as well. Not the same as the pea soup light green that he's describing to you, but you see this light trailing off of him. Mm -hmm. It seems familiar to you. Dr. Knight, why that seems familiar to you? You can try to. It will stop you. Ugh. There's only a three. He got a three. You, it feels familiar to you because it almost feels the way you feel. Like, uh oh. oh you don't really know what it is, but it feels the same as how you feel when you use your power. Sympathetic. Sympathetic. Mm. You are going to the mountain, right? Huh? You're heading to mountain. I'm heading to a thing that's in front of the mountain. I will follow the green headlights into the dark. Okay, follow the headlights, follow the room. You, you, see, your, you see your ignition man uh, running away. He's the engine for your destructive blade. Combustion man. Goodbye, Dolgrim. I'm going to chase after the little boy. I'm not the boy, I'm man. <laughs> you this. can hear him cutting behind you. <laughs> like a steam train. Where are you going, young lad? I'm following the green light. I think it's... it's I know. I don't know where we're going, but... Uh, maybe it's something I want to see what I see. If, or I want to see if I can see where they're heading to. You want to see where they're heading to? Yeah. So you're focused on them? Yeah. Okay. It's 
going to be a 12. 12. Okay, so as you perceive ahead of you, what you see is the burning image of a fox fiery in front of you and a green wolf running ahead of it as they both turn and look at you and snarl. Ooh, this is pretty cool. We're like Power Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> go, go, Viking Rangers. <laughs> da, 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 da. There is a bear and a fox snarling at me. I thought that was wolf. One out of fire, one that's green. That was wolf, right? Yeah, it was wolf. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know what the words are. Okay. <laughs> it, is a, it is a sweet little puppy. <laughs> they both look like doggy dogs. <laughs> Dog does come back! <laughs> I am going to pet them both. That no, is my don't touch me. solemn oath right now. I start charging after them. The pet oh them. god. Oh All my. Right. Rhea? Um, can, I, can I look in Grimm's Tome of Knowledge? For anything about the mountain while trailing after them. Roll intelligence to search through the words of the book. You could, except I have it. But Remember I stole it from you. It's oh, in yeah. my inventory. Remember I took it last time. Remember you, you gave it to me it. and then he took it. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you're like, that's mine. That's and I true. Say, I will read Maybe it the energy back to of the book was in your satchel and that's what the thing wanted. That's a retcon. Um, so, yeah, you reach in your, your satchel and realize that it's missing. That's unfortunate. Just a note that says, I owe you. <laughs> Love, Einar. <laughs> and then you come to Einar and Einar's like, oh, I gave it to Ulthor. <laughs> And Althor's like, oh, Thulgrim had it last. <laughs> He's trying to teach him how to read. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you're missing your book. Klaatu Varada. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> wrong chapter. Oh, no, wait, wait. If you say it right, we're good. If you say it wrong, that's when you look at the Just don't read it out loud. Klaatu <laughs> Varada. <laughs> Next time. Nickel. Nickel. <laughs> right, what else would you like to do after you realize your satchel is empty? You should probably uh, I guess I'm the guy gonna walk after them then. Okay, so you're going after Thulgrim, going to pet puppies. All right, John the Red, you see everybody running behind Einar into the distance, except for Uthor, who stands staring at the ground, seeming quite pensive. You're staring. <laughs> Well, go console <laughs> You're going to go console Uthor? Uh, how would you like to console him? Uh, I'm going to take Patches back and say it will all be okay. You can do that. And then I will massage his back. <laughs> <laughs> As you do this, uh, you notice that Ulthor is standing there. He makes fists with his hands and he just calls out, Brennan! I didn't quite catch that. Could you say that again? Brennan! Is that a pleasurable sound? Do you want me to continue? <laughs> <laughs> oh my. <laughs> How would you like to proceed with that? <laughs> Can you Nobody's know? touched you quite like this in a very long time. Oh, so sweet. <laughs> Nor have they smelled quite like elderberry. <coughs> would you like some elderberry? No, no, I, I, I would not like any jam, thank you. I'm, I will walk away just a bit. Thank you for the massage, I appreciate it. And you'll it's play away. again. He continues to call out to a, a name. Blinnen! Come forth. I'm sorry, but I have jam in my ears. I can't really hear you right now. <laughs> All right. It's okay. I'm not talking to you. You can have jam in your ears. No, thank you. you. Walk out the world. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? What is this? <laughs> All right, back to the top. Uh, Ulthor, you're, you're trying to summon someone to you. Yep. <laughs> um, give I'm me a... <laughs> Mm. 
How would you like to go about it? Relying on your words, or uh, are you using any kind of um, assistance? It's it's more of a a bond. Yeah, it's how would I put it? Um, it's kind of like if you if I yell your name and you hear me, you must come. Okay. Okay, so you're using the power of your words. Right. Is that intel? Or was that? Yeah, with searching, let's let's say intel. He coming? Oh, no, he's not coming, but you're going. No, no, I've survived him before. We might, will, if he comes, will you help me for him? You may have rest. I am not allowed to do anything outside of his will of madness. He claimed my soul. To free me, you must free him of his head. Who is he? <laughs> I'm an old friend. He's the leader of my cult. He's the leader of my order. We were rubies. <laughs> <laughs> Four hundred years ago. His mouth is over here. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no way we can help you? you there's no way you, you can help us either? I am chained to the will of my master. The will of madness and chaos. So what has awoken you? I know that you haven't slept, but clearly you haven't been up. What brought you up oh, now? the smell of god flesh. It is very mighty on this continent now. There are many of them walking amongst us. All the god flesh will taste quite good. Okay. Just thinking, should I think of this now? Oh, I'll, I'll be here to think me, I'll stay on board. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Yes. What would you like to do? I believe I was. You were running mid towards. swing, running. With your axe. Alright, so give me the axe uh, roll. Okay. Ro roll the runes and tell me what the fates and half in the table for you. And I am going to go for the suplex on the hook. All right. To toss it over my back and into the ground. Gotcha. So that's that's what I called there. Right? Even doubt. Uh, so fourteen, and if that hits, I get a plus two bonus on damage. Yeah. Roll evasion. Dexterity, correct? Yeah. Four. <laughs> As you heft this creature with your axe and throw it directly behind you, you don't realize that right behind you, Saul runs. As this rotting corpse slams into you, splattering you backwards. As you tumble down the hill oh. and are met by the chest of Fulgrim. 
So sorry. Oh. Did, did they hit the oh. I'm going to go ahead and give you one stress off of that. It hurts pretty badly. Okay. Watch where you're going. The fire puppy is in your arms. Oh, the fire puppy? Yes. Please don't pet him. Oh, him. Please don't pet him. Please don't pet me. I'll start squeezing Oh, I get three dollars my hair. He's giving you a nookie. Oh, oh you're, you're so cute. You're giving me brain damage. I'll be as stupid as you soon. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to call you Fluffer Nickel. Oh, please, let's <laughs> not, not call me that. It's very demeaning. Wait. Seems to be uh, knotting your hair up into uh, dreadlocks now. No, not my beautiful this... long hair. I'm going to burn his arms. I know. This uh, this box sounds a lot like soul. <laughs> Let go of it. <laughs> Order to burn his forearms. It is soul. Let go. It is soul. The you. wolf turns around and goes. It stings. What? As your arm <laughs> begins to burn, like you're touching an oven. Let go. Before I kill you. Fine. You're no fun. <laughs> Alright, fire up. puppy. So, explain in real quick. The two that we they killed with the fire, are they completely dead? Or are they just. Does Glennon know? I can not sense their souls. So I can. They are still enchambered within the mad realm. But I can. Physical forms. Three or four forms. Okay. You may purify the flesh, but the soul is very dirty. Very, very dirty. You soul is still That's what we did. We dirty souls. We pretty much did this for ourselves. Souls. We flogged reality. Ew. We whipped it hard. <laughs> but it will go. Um. Do, 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 do. <laughs> what up? What up? <laughs> I'm gonna flick part of the one that I just axe platted uh, away from it so that it has a longer time to re reform. Well, you can see the bloody mess and flesh oozing back to itself. Yes. Can I? All right. Uh, I believe it was stolen from his turn. I am going. Is there another like green goo person here? Oh, there's about three of them surrounding you right now. Plus the one that's all goofy on the ground. Mm. This isn't doing anything. To Fulgrim has an idea. Don't. Fulgrim's going to take the sword and he's going to throw it around me. Like, a, like a spitting blade around you? Like a spitting blade around me. Stop. Ah. It's not going to do anything. A circle of death. Roll the ring of fire. Well, that's not really the ring of fire just yet because he can't, he can't put his fire. It already it's, does that. It's oh. the ring of sword. It looks like you got cheese balls. That's no fair. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be a pizza, but now I'm a cheese. You might want to use a rock. <laughs> oh, you better be tall. The rooms hate you. Thorgrim um, <laughs> uses a fade. Thorgrim is about to get his hiney kicked. And what does that get from? Use it for a reroll. That gives Thulgrim a three. Oh, man. You do toss this blade around you. It's a very massive blade. Uh, so I want you to roll for evasion of the blade. I know you as Hold on a second. Could I not try to redirect it? You right. could. That could be what you do. If you want to use the constitution. Am I going uh, to use the constitution? Because that is eight. Mm. Yeah, what did you roll? A three? Yes. You take him to roll. So, as it spins over, I can catch it, continue to spin, and then guide it on the course where it would actually do. It's ah, now it slices through the entities that you were aiming at. You got the eight, right? Yes. And you are successful oh, as they burn before you. So good. <laughs> He died just as well as the two down there. Togrim, I will teach you how to use the sword correctly, okay? It's not like your silly axe. It's, it's more than that. You got, to, you got to treat it like you would a nice lady. <laughs> okay. I will Rhea? throw him at the other one. <laughs> Get him. Uh, Rhea? Yes? Where are you at? What are you doing? Um, I'm still trying to catch up. With oh, you're caught up with oh, it. Okay. You've seen all this. All right. 
Um, are there still the zombie things? The, there's one that's oozing into a puddle. Is, is that the only one? That's the only one. The rest of them All are right. burning and screaming like a madman. Can I walk up to it and hit it with my hammer? <laughs> sure try, yeah. All right. <laughs> That's a that's a hammer of making. So let's go ahead and put your uh, what did you use with uh, your craftsmanship? Um, I used wisdom or intelligence when I did too. So throw your wisdom out there. All right. You're perceiving where to strike. <laughs> oh, that's a zero. <laughs> yes, you slam the ground with your <laughs> mediocre hammer. As the puddle splashes up, it begins to wrap around you. Oh no. Ray, what are you doing? What's going with it? Wait, does it have bones? Oh no, it's right. going to hug roll, him from the inside. Maybe we'll solidify. Uh, roll for defense. Alright. Um, with constitution. Okay. Oh boy. Uh, three. <laughs> okay, so add a minus two to your dex and constitution. You are burning. Oh boy. Ooh. Your blood feels as though it's on fire. Joel Red, we are back to you, Joel Red. I'm running up towards the young, the young one. And I, I yell out the goons. I see this pocket, I show them the pocket. Oh, <laughs> It, it begins to form a face and says, Ooh, a pocket! I've never been in a pocket before! And it dives in. I've got stakes in here! Why are you putting in these pockets? Where am I? I can't try my way out! I think that was Cherry. <laughs> John the Red. John the Red! <laughs> Which pocket is it in? It's in one of the left pockets. <laughs> one of the left area. pockets. Can I use perception? I use perception. <laughs> oh no. Thirteen. Oh, okay, right. so as you look at John the Red's cape, you perceive a variety of plethoras of magical items. You can see many jars of jam, a ship that folds in space, and a greenish aura of a dead person. Uh, that's neat, that's neat. Whoa, that's a ship! Ah, there's the green one. I'm sorry, John, but I've really got to go. Look away. Oh, God. No. Oh, no. I had a lot of mead before this journey. I have to pee. Oh, dear, sweet old. He's peeing on your cake. I think I'm peeing fun. in the pocket where the thing is. Oh, four. We're back at the top. Oh, God. Can you pick out one of the bones for me? <laughs> You're not going to the bone after this. We were better than some kind. Jork. We beat him. You have a lot of items in here, my How friend. Can we ah, get thank you. you out I'm quite relieved now. You must venture into the shadows to truly defeat him. You shut the door on his face, but you must take his head. He owns our soul. In the mountain? Yes, deep in the mountain where the temple rests, where the doorway hides. Oh, he'll let us in. He won't stop me because he knows that I'm trying to help him. Right, Lennon? We can go in. We have. Well, I, I really would like you to go in. Yes. That's what That'd I thought. That'd be interesting. Yeah, <laughs> but you won't. You won't stand up I, against me. I will not. Okay. There will be other things, but they will not stand against me. Guys, I think my, we can stop fighting these, these things. These are my brothers. They, they seem to be friends with Ulthor. 
Uh, we're all in the same part of the mountain together? Yes. Yes, okay. we're in very close proximity. Here. Okay. Uh, see, Pat knows about that, though, or I think Dolgrim just uh, made a beat on yeah. his brothers. Compared to what they've been through for the last 400 years, I don't think him being peed on is going to bother I call out to the figure in the pocket. Uh, is that true? Being peed on is not that bad. It, it's, it's no worse than this pocket, I tell you that much. See? It's a welcome shower compared to what's going on in here. Oh, this is madness. If we let you out the pocket and travel with Uthor, are you going to leave us alone? Uh, you don't ask it, you ask Glennon. Glennon's the leader. Could you ask him? You ask him. What was his name? He already told, Glennon? Glennon. He already Glennon. told me that he wouldn't stop me. Glennon, if we let your little, your friend out of the stinky pocket, well, you're, you know, your boogeyman stop attacking us? I got a... A large cloak figure begins to appear from the shadows behind Saul. Large antlers like a deer coming out from a head uh, ornamentation that he wears as he goes, What did you say? Oh, I'm sorry. Are you hurt the theater? <laughs> My bad. I, <laughs> look from the inside of it, I will head. speak louder for you. Yes, um, speak in the record, yeah. If this we one, yeah, let your... Hold it and speak into it, yes. If we let your friend out of pocket, will you stop having them interfere? Would you like me to take you to the door? I... Oh, sorry, is that what we want? Yes. Yes, please. Ah, you are the ones who can me to the door. Take them to the door and start dancing now. I Hello? Let... Oh, hey, what? What do you want? I'll okay, just making song. sure you can still hear me. Yes, I can hear you. You hold it in my ear. Oh, you want it back? Oh, yes. Uh, you don't put it in anybody's pockets. I put it in my I, I flick it at him. Uh, okay, I could have thrown that. I really would have fallen flat. Um, before we go to <laughs> the Don't worry, you did tell everyone about the weird veiny stuff. In the time, right? Yes, I did. I told okay. everyone about the weird veiny thing. I tried to see if I can commune with it. See if I can commune. I look at, I, I rolled a 12 to look at his to pockets. See if, uh, Do I see anything that would help with strength? You don't need to be more items, Dolgrim. You see, that like I a said, strong you see many mystical items. Mm -hmm. uh, you cannot quite perceive what they are or where they are as they are in his cape. His cape seems to be a puzzle. Mm. The chaotic, intertwined uh, madness of fabric nice. and space. I lead in and ask, do you see any pockets inside the pockets? I've been thinking a lot about that. <laughs> I have. <laughs> I have seen pockets within a pocket. It's quite strange. Pocket infinity. Pocketception. Pocketception. You have a lot of mystical items in there. I would like to see what they are. Later. Later. So later, but they're shiny. Later. They are shiny. So is the mountain. Given the interactions I, I have with care. the colored red, Mister the You never. I want to see if maybe. The stuff with the uh, mountain is a uh, mock as well. Maybe. You can try that. Okay. Hey, well, that's what I was throwing, but I'm leaving okay, it for that. Yeah, oh, what are we doing that? Uh, Constitution? Yeah. Sure. That is a seven. Okay. As you all stand upon the mountain, you begin to hear a great noise. Oh, no. Uh, it was not me. As the earth begins to tremble, the tectonic plates begin to shift, and the lava begins to burst forth, seeking out the one who calls it. What did you do, Saul? I just touched what the rock. You... First, the lamp, and now this. Oh. Everyone now needs to roll with dexterity to leap from dry land to dry land. Avoid the lava! The floor is lava. I'm gonna die. I have a minus one con. <laughs> this is a uh, three for the okay. Oh, that's a zero. Ooh, Ooh two. can I try to put lava away from Ray? She doesn't. I am going to pay you for uh, two. I have a two now. <laughs> you have a two now. Wait a second. Couldn't I just move this thing? Five. Draw on the red. What did you get? 
Then roll. Roll dexterity, my friend. Do you not see my rolls? I yeah, do. They're pointing away from me, but they are with you. We can't see your roll. Yeah. I got I got a even roll. Four. Not higher, not low. Four. Okay, so you got a four. You notice in front of you that the small lady with the hammer is about to fall into the lava. Oh no. Oh no. How would you like to save her? You've got the highest roll. Ish. Uh, I will save her from a horrible death of the lava. Would you like to place her in a pocket? Kill her so that she may have a swift death. What? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? He's gonna kill me. I will throw my axe towards her, but I will make it slow down so that she can ride it. It's quite a big axe that she's going to so this should work. Can, can I just grab onto the axe? You have to it to the surfboard. Yes. That's how we're doing it. Roll to assimilate with his move. Can. Mm. Go okay, what what am I rolling? Your axe ability. <laughs> my axe ex My expertise? Yes, your expertise. Oh, okay. The thing we're going to right? That's it. That's it's a oh, negative that's one without any abilities. That's what we're going to do. The axe well, hits you can... and carries you further up the mountain, spinning wildly as you are out of control with it. Take a stress I uh, actually make that two stress oh, from, from, okay. from the axe hitting you. Mm. Okay. It hurt. Yeah. It's gone. Okay. Ray is gone. There's something. Everyone as they leave Gone back is not incorrect. Are making their way up the mountain. John the Red chasing after his axe as it wildly, uncontrollably carries Rhea up the mountain, screaming oh the whole while. Oh, it hurts in my guts! <laughs> I'm blasting off again! <laughs> I'm blasting off again! <laughs> That's where we're gonna go fight. Yes, yes indeed. So, you successfully track your way up the mountain. Some of you more graceful than others. <laughs> Do I just walk through the lava like it's not yeah. lava? Oh, this is like being back home. It's very nice. Yeah. Are you um, taking the lava? As back? you get to the top of a mountain, you see a building, uh, not quite in its heyday. Uh, some bit of rubbles. It's got some pillars that are still standing, and you can see the dark corridors within it, and a strange ethereal indigo glow. Mm. And everybody can see the glow? Everyone can see the glow. Ooh. Does everyone know seeing this or is it just What do me? I see? With your special eyes. With my... 13. Hold that in. Yeah. What's that? Hold that in. I will tell you what you see, my friend. You look into the light and you see me staring back at you. Oh, boy. And if anybody else wants to know what he's looking at, then join us again next time as we adventure through the wild <laughs> terrain of Valos, the mighty planet with these mighty warriors. Thank you for joining us this time. Remember, Saturday Night Gaming brings you the best podcasts with the best games that you can like, share, and subscribe with your whole family, all your friends, and especially your grandmother. Your finger's not broken. Call her every weekend. She misses you. Until next time, this is Tony Stevens, your GM, signing off.